I was just thinking, it's a bit like buddy, that stupid song I used to sing when you kids were little and they were traveling. On the road again? We gotta get back on the road again. <laughs> Whatever it was. Was that bloody Willie Nelson? Anyway, we're on the road again. Some bloke ran out of screws for this project, so we gotta go in and get some, get some new, well, some little screws to screw this fridge together. So, oh, you never know what's gonna happen next. So we just nip down the back and get ourselves some screws. Oh, I reckon. Stop robbing. I reckon that's about what we want. I reckon we'll get the outdoor version. <laughs> Go. How do? So the madness continues here. We're still working on this crazy fridge. As the weather's gone a bit crap, we're gonna have a dust storm, I reckon, in the middle of winter. That's pretty psycho, but anyway, I guess you get that when it's a drought. Anyway, we've got our hole cut in our floor, and we're gonna slip that inside this fridge very shortly, so well, hopefully we're gonna flip it <laughs> slip it inside the fridge anyway, that's the plan. Don't you hate it if you open a pack of screws and they don't open, then they go, Woo! <laughs> or is that just me? That's probably only me. Helps if you undo the staple, though. That's usually not a bad idea. <laughs> I remember back in the day, though, when you used to go to the shop and you'd ask for a kilo or half a kilo or a couple of grams of these bloody things. Mind you, I don't think they had self-tapping screws even back then. You had to drill yourself a pilot hole. So we're cheating these days. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, we're going to screw this little bit of air vent to our floor. So they're not terribly straight or terribly uniformed, but I don't think it matters as long as it's sealed. So I was just putting them wherever the buckle in this little bit of aluminium rack is. But if you happen to be doing this to be, um, I don't know, for a TAFE project or a school project, just remember the school teachers are a little bit less forgiving than the Bush Bee Man and they would like a straight line drawn with your little protract. No, no, it'll be, a, it'll be a set square. So just remember to do that just nice. Otherwise you'll probably only get a C. Now my plan is to actually turn it up the other way because of course these will be, you don't want all this sharp shit in the bottom of the bee box because the girls will scrape along that and do themselves a damage. So you want it to sort of be nice and smooth of course, the screws at the shop we just got are a fraction long as always, because you just can't go, either they were too short or too long. So, I'm just gonna get the grinder and zap the tips off of these, tidy up the edge of me rough wood. In theory, we should have a nice little bit of an air vent that the girls won't hurt themselves on. This is particularly going to bow very much. But anyway, <sighs> I reckon if a bloke gets the silly thing in there, we'll never get it out, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. Here's a design fault. <laughs> oh, shit, now I've got my light. Hang on. Where's my screwdriver? I didn't allow for that bit, did I? Shit, I better not take that out of here. Maybe I just. Maybe I'll just cut the knob off. I think that'd be a bit rude, I'll cut his little knob off. Oh, there we go, there we go. I don't think we're actually gonna get the girls in here today because I'm looking at this thinking that maybe there's gonna have to be some silicon to seal it up, but I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. Ambitious. I would have thought given had a little bit of give. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Oh, we'll try it this way. See whether we can get it to work that way. Watch me knock it off the bricks. What's that old saying? <laughs> measure once, cut twice. No, measure twice, cut once. <laughs> oh god! You rough bastard, honestly. I think the corners are not quite right because they're a bit round instead of the boards cut square and the corners are round. But I might have an idea. 
I'll go and grab the rubber mallet that I put the other boxes together with and give it a tap. Like I say, we'll never get this out of here. Ah, damn it. <sighs> Perhaps we should have just chopped that off. This side, at least. Wouldn't have mattered, would it? Probably would have made more sense. Yo! It's this particular moment on stupid projects when you think to yourself, perhaps I'll just go out and buy the timber to make a proper box. But anyway, hmm, that wouldn't be true to the nature of the bush bee man, would it? <laughs> I think I've got to pull the board back out and give this side a little bit of a trim. Uh, bloody hell. God. That's going to be a bloke can get it back out. Oh, oh yeah. My goodness, Harry. I think we're going to need a little bit of, um, a little bit of gap filler <laughs> in this project. I don't think you want to leave all this dag in this ear because otherwise it'll give the wax moth somewhere to breed. So we'll cover it up and then hopefully we won't have to hit it quite so hard with our hammer. I wonder if we should trim that those corners are a bit round while we're while we've got it there. What do you reckon? I reckon. I reckon that'll be a bloody good idea, George! is a little bit rough so you don't have to tell me. <laughs> oh, I think that's just a little bit ordinary Mr. Rough Bush Bee Man. Hell yeah. I wonder if we should put a little bit extra. Oh, hopefully they won't put too much weight on it anyway. But I don't know. Head out. Head out. If we end up and the bloody wood's falling through the bottom I guess we'll know it was a bad idea. Just to make sure. Awesome. I think that's looking pretty good actually. It's a little bit crooked. That would be a big surprise, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'll give it a little bit of a test try. See whether we're gonna have that hanging there like that. Oh, I reckon the time we hang that on there, we run a bit of mesh across the top. I guess we should cut the hole for the honey super Maybe, do you think? While we're here full arsing around? Because I don't know. It could be rather complicated to do it if it was a box full of bees, couldn't it? <laughs> okay, so I'm just looking here, trying to think about the bee space. Old Mr. Langsworth talks about his bee space, which is basically 10 mil. So when you hang your frame in your box normally, you've got a nice little recess the box that the frame's sitting in. So the frame's sitting down. So the frame's basically in your normal box is hanging like that. And it's got this little gap down the side. And if you have a roughly 10 mil gap, the girls don't build between there. Whereas the way we're having to have this, we've got just a little bit too much gap. And of course they're very, they're very useful. They use every little bit of space and they'll jolly build a heap of bridging comb between that and the side of my fridge top bar beehive. And then we won't get the bloody things out. <laughs> God grief. Whose bloody stupid idea was this? <laughs> Eight, nine carrots and again. So we go through there. So we want 890 by 240, I reckon. Gonna be one school holiday project, I reckon. <laughs> Keep everybody entertained. You're a young fella and you're on holidays watching this. 
You can get your old man involved. They call that a bonding experience. Or sometimes it can be a breaking experience, but anyway. <laughs> This is a good fun project. <laughs> so I reckon as long as we screw it to the outcrops, and then I think I'm gonna have to go and get some foam filler upper, what's that shit called? Expand the foam. So, or something like that I reckon. We'll go and get some of that in a minute. Once we screw this together and see that it fits. And that'll save us having to cover up our messed up bit, won't it? I'm tipping if you were doing this in tech class, you'd probably have to have a dust mask on or something. Because <laughs> your, your, young, your young healthy lungs wouldn't want to breathe all this crap in. I guess I'll find some screws. We'll make the landing bay. Land docking bay. Would it be a docking bay or landing bay? What would that be, the entry bit? I don't know, it depends. Depends how you... I like the concept of being a landing bay anyway. And now I'm thinking, like I said before, we're really going to drill a hole through there and put some sort of queen excluder in there and make ourselves a honey super, but I don't know where they'll ever get in the bloody freezer, but still. That would be a serious swarm, wouldn't they, because they got that lot. <laughs> anyway, I'll go and see if I can find some screws. Yep. So that looks pretty good to me. I reckon we'll put one there, one there, and we'll be bloody perfect. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Might be a long way from perfect, but anyway. <laughs> hey, one good thing about it is, at least when the ladies are in here, they're in the dark, so they won't be able to see my shabby workmanship. <laughs> That's not even a Phillips head, that one. This is a this is a mixed packet of screws that I had laying around in the shed here. That's got a little diamond, like a little different sort of driver. Mr. Westinghouse, I reckon you made this just for me. <laughs> what do you reckon? Mr. Westinghouse, do you reckon you would have made this for a top B bar hive? Oh, for a B box? <laughs> I don't think so. Right oh, oh. So, this is wonderful shit when you when you want to fill a hole in. This is like expanding foam. I don't know whether it's meant to be. No, I can just about guarantee you it's not meant for a bee box. But anyway, we're going to squirt it down a little side here. Seal this in so the ladies can't get down there and make a nest. We're still going to do it, but I suppose if we were to measure that, that's probably less than 10 millimillies, so they might not actually do anything with that gap. But we're not going to take that chance. <laughs> cool shit about this is, once it sets, you just get your Stanley knife and trim it all off. That's looking pretty good. We'll let that get hard and then we'll just, that, we probably won't be able to do that today, but later on it'll get hard and we'll just slice it off. Because if you try to cut it off when it's wet like this, it ends up stuck to every jolly thing. It's an horrible muck when it's wet. Yeah, the really time as a, <laughs> as a hubby, you're getting deep shit. It's when you've got this sticky muck and you get it on your boot and then you walk into your lovely wife's house and then you've got sticky muck covered in rocks on the kitchen floor, straight to jail, do not pass go. Do not expect to get a cuddle in bed that night. Just hope you're actually a good talker. <laughs> well, we're just gonna let that set for a little bit. I gotta go and get this crap off my fingers. So, I wonder what they meant, wonder if that's what they meant by sticky fingers when you, you know you get caught doing bad shit. But that looks pretty groovy, I reckon. So far, so good. When we come back, we'll have a look at making a door, making an entrance. Now there's an interesting concept as to how we're gonna do that. <laughs> 